Hello friends, I am Prajan Rai and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to boot HP laptop and install Windows 10 operating system using bootable USB drive. So without any let, let's get started. First of all, we need to create a bootable USB drive. So I'm going to Google search and download Rufus software. As you can see, this is the Google search result. And now I'm going to click on first link. And this is the Rufus software website here. And it will make our pen drive to bootable USB drive. So now I'm going to download this software rufus 3.20 and as you can see you can download uh, many more old version also but today i'm going to downloading uh, latest version and now i'm going to click on keep okay it has been successfully downloaded in my computer and now i'm going to download it folder Okay, as you can see, this is my Rufus software. And now I'm going to open this software uh, to make bootable USB drive my, in my N drive. So now I'm going to open this. Okay, you can see here, this is the Rufus software window here. And now here it's no device detected right now because I don't have any insert any pen drive inserted in my computer so now i'm going to insert my pen drive into my computer okay as you can see now it starts showing uh, start it's detected uh, my pen drive here and now i'm going to click on select button uh, to add iso file windows operating system iso file I have already downloaded uh, the Windows operating system ISO file in my computer. You can download your Windows operating system ISO file from Google search. Today I'm using uh, my Windows operating system 32-bit uh, ISO file. Okay, now we need to set image options uh, to standard Windows installation. And uh, now I'm going to choose MBR options because my HP laptop is old hardware generation. So now I'm going to choose MBR options. You can choose GPT options to new hardware options. And now click on start. And turn on a check mark in disable data collection options. I click on OK. Here you can see this is a warning dialog box. If we are created a bootable USB drive, uh, our all data will be erased from our pen drive. So now I'm going to give it permission. Now start copying ISO file to USB drive. So we need to wait for complete process. So now I'm going to make fast forward this video while copying process. As you can see, the ISO file is successfully complete copying process in my pen drive so now my pen drive has been successfully created uh, as a bootable usb drive so now i'm going to close this software and eject my usb drive okay you can see this is my bootable usb drive and this is my hp laptop where i will boot and install windows 10 operating system from this bootable usb drive so 
Uh, now I'm going to insert this bootable USB drive in my HP laptop. After insert my bootable USB drive, now I'm going to restart my laptop. While restarting my computer, I press F2 button in my keyboard to open boot menu. As you can see, here is more boot options. Now I'm going to press F9 uh, to choose boot options in my keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to select USB hard drive. Press enter and load USB drive. And now press any key from keyboard to load our bootable USB drive. So as you can see now start showing Windows 10 logo in my computer. This logo has been loaded from bootable USB drive. So now wait for a moment. Okay, as you can see, this is the Windows setup screen in my computer. It is loaded from um, our bootable USB drive in my computer. So now I'm going to choose a language, a time currency format, and the cigarette and keyboard or input method. So now I'm going to choose language and keyboard and input method. So I have selected and now I'm going to choose uh, next options. And now click on install now button. Okay. Now our setup uh, screen has been starting. Okay, here we need to ins insert or input our Windows 10 activation key prod or product key. But uh, today I'm going to install without Windows product key. So now I'm going to uh, choose I don't have product key options. I will activate my Windows uh, after successfully installed my computer. And now I'm going to choose Pro here you can see this is a Windows 10 Pro and this is a Windows 10 Home. Now I'm going to choose Windows 10 Home options and click on next. Today I will install Windows 10 Home. Uh, so now I'm going to check mark I accept the Trump license and click on next. And as you can see there here is a upgrade uh, install or custom install options. Now I'm going to click on custom install options. So, as you can see, here is a uh, partition one is system. And now I'm going to delete this. And as you can see, the partition one is converted, changed to unlocated space. And now I'm going to select partition one. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to click on new options and click on apply and click on OK. Now our partition will be created in one and two partition options. One is uh, system and, and, and file size is 500 and partition two is uh, created as a primary partition options. So now I'm going to choose partition two and I will format and this partition to and after successfully formatted and this partition to now I'm going to choose partition to and install Windows operating system in this primary partition primary partition to so now I'm going to click on next and now our Windows operating system file is start copying in hard disk drive from bootable USB drive. So we need to wait for complete copying process from now. So now I'm going to make fast forward video while copying process.
here we need to create a username for this PC so now I'm going to input uh, a username for this PC now I'm going to click use Cortana options uh, because I will use Cortana in my computer and now we need to wait uh, for complete processing our Windows setup process so wait for a moment okay as you can see this is the screen of Windows 10 operating system I hope you understand this video. If you like this video, please like and share with your friends. I will meet with another video. Till the next video. Bye bye. Namaste.